Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I wanted to share with you 10 home essentials that you didn't know that you need. I wasn't actually sure what to call this video because today I'm sharing with you some home hacks, some products and a service that I love that just make my life easier and more organized around the house. So I hope you really enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe for more content like this. And with all that said, let's get into today's home hacks. Okay, so the first home hack that I wanted to share with you is very simple, but it's also genius if you're doing any DIY around the house. We moved into this house a year ago and we have been renovating it and extending it. And although I can't do loads in terms of DIY, one thing I can do is hang a picture. But I have no idea where Matt keeps a leveler. It's somewhere in the garage, but I don't actually need to know because if you go onto the app store, there are so many free leveler apps. So you can just download one and use that on your phone. They're really precise. And then you can use this if you're trying to figure out if a picture frame is straight or if you're hanging up some shelves as well. It's so simple. It's easy because I always have my phone on me. So yeah, it's a great little hack. So the next product or gadget that you didn't know you needed is this bag sealer. This heats up and will seal a bag shut so that it is airtight. And I actually saw this on TikTok and I think I justify trying out products like this because I think I'll just let my viewers know if they're any good. But you take the protective clip off and then you squeeze it down for five seconds and it heats up really quickly. And then you just glide it along a bag of crisps or a bag that you want to seal and it just seals it up like as good as new. It does definitely take some getting used to. I feel like I've mastered it now and obviously you don't need this. You could use bag clips, but it is really cool. So if your kids ever leave a half eaten bag of crisps like this, you can just seal it up and it is literally as good as new. It just is all airtight as well. So I do find that I use this for Cheerios. I decant my Cheerios into Tupperware, but a whole box never fits. So then I'll just seal up the remaining Cheerios and then they're all airtight for when I do need them again. And it's just a really cool gadget. And when you're not using it, you just put the clip back on because it only heats up when you squeeze it together and it prevents it from heating up. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. I feel like it's quite a cool product. And the next home essential that I wanted to show you guys is something I should have bought years ago and actually only got this because someone commented on a cleaning video that I should invest in a microwave cover. I think I was sharing how I cleaned my microwave in a video because I do clean it every week. We get so much mess because of leftovers and my kids love to eat beans so it always gets everywhere. And of course I've tried covering it with plates and bowls but it's always still a bit of a mess. But I decided to just get one of these online and I cannot tell you how great it is. Once you've microwaved your food, it just all goes onto this cover, which you can stick in the dishwasher. So it's a game changer and I love it. And the next home hack that I wanted to share with you is an incredible service which has saved me so many times. It means you never run out of ink and your printer is pretty much always ready to go. So it's the HP Instant Ink Service and HP have actually sponsored this section of the video, but we've used them for over five years now. We have a HP printer and it's the easiest way to order your ink. It basically links up to it. And as soon as your printer is running low, they just ship you out more ink and it just lands hands on your doorstep as if by magic so that when it does actually run out you have the ink cartridges ready to put them in and it's very easy to manage it's all done on an app and you can actually choose your print plan based on how many pages you print per month so I think the lowest one is just 99p and that's if you print about 15 pages per month but say when we went into lockdown I upped my print package to 199 per month and if you don't use pages one month it just rolls over to the next and it's just great it means you never run out of ink and you also save money you save up to 70% on ink and it's very easy to change or cancel at any time there is no fee and it's always the original HP ink or toner and also what I love is they have an incredible recycling program 
So they send you the prepaid envelope. So when you have got empty cartridges, it's very easy to just pop them into it and then into the post and then you know they're being recycled. And HP also have a great printable section on their website, which you can either go on to the desktop and do it, but I actually do it from the app. It's so easy to print from my phone. So if I ever have a day in with the kids, I can print out coloring pages, worksheets. There's loads of different learning on there. I saw there's even like vision boards and planning as well. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out either the printables or the instant ink. I would really recommend it. And the next hack that I wanted to share with you is great. If you also have kids and any fragile ornaments or vases around that you really want to stay put. So I've ordered these glue dots on Amazon in the past and they're great. They're double-sided, very sticky, a little bit moldable as well. So if there's anything that you really want to stay put, you can just stick these onto the bottom of it and then peel them off so that it's sticky and it will literally stay put really well. You can also get a putty for like awkwardly shaped things. I think it's called quake shake as in earthquake shake. Um, and you can stick that onto the bottom and it will ensure that it doesn't move around. Even if the kids are running around like crazy, it also makes it easy if I'm just cleaning around this vase, I know it's not gonna move or fall at all. And yeah, I really like using it. And for this next hack, I would love to know in the comments, does this happen to anyone else's kids bedding that their duvet falls down half the way inside the bed sheet? I don't know why this happens. I don't know how they sleep but I have a hack to fix it. So all I've done here is lay out the bed sheet inside out and then I'm laying out the duvet on top and I'm gonna use binder clips. These are great because I have tried safety pins in the past, but then I've still been worried that they're going to actually like hurt the children. But a binder clip has no sharp parts on it. So you can just put that onto each corner and then that will actually ensure that the duvet stays in place I just love this hack. You can actually get a proper product. I found it online, uh, but it is visible on the bedding, whereas this is kind of hidden. So I'm just gonna go around to each corner and then turn it the right way round again. And this will actually stay in place. You can feel it if you're looking for them, but the kids still haven't noticed. So it's just great. It keeps your duvet nice. And another product that I love in terms of home organization is drawer dividers. So normally in drawers, we have these little inserts, but in our bathroom, we actually only have drawers. So for the cleaning products, they did just look a bit of a mess in the drawer. So I found these dividers online and I love them. They are adjustable. They're very easy to place in the drawer. So if you had bigger drawers, you could actually extend them as well. And you can just put the products in, then just put the divider next to it. And I've also used these in my son's drawers to break up his football kits to his match kits. Um, and you can use these for so many different things. And I just love the way that it makes the drawers look so nice and clean and organized. My next hack is for anyone who has a rug that moves around, that looks a bit messy and also becomes a bit of a safety hazard when it does. So if your rug does not have a grip on the bottom of it, then I have the solution for you. We used to have loads of problems with the rug in our playroom. So we just got some double-sided grip tape for that rug and it's so easy to put on. You can either do it on each side, each corner or all the way around depending on how much traffic is in that area. And it's very simple. You just stick it on and then pull off the other side and then stick it onto the floor and then it will just ensure that it doesn't move around at all. It looks nice and clean but it also won't damage your floor and it's very simple to do. And next up, I wanted to show you our under the sink storage, which really allows us to maximize the amount of space that we have under the sink. The other day I was clearing it out, taking all the products out, and I thought this was worth showing you. I've had this shelf forever. It's extendable. It will fit around any pipes that you have under your sink. And it comes with these little inserts so that you can create shelves. And it's very easy to just pop them on around the pipes that you do have. And then you have a bit more 
more space for all of your products and cloths and everything that you have, like even if it's beauty products in a bathroom as well. I find it really handy. And then I got these little like clear um, storage containers as well for our bin bags, for our cloths, for our gloves, for everything really. And it means that we can fit so many things under the sink and I just find it really handy. And it's a great hack that we've used for quite a long time. And the last home essential that I wanted to share with you, I feel like might be quite niche, so I put it at the end of this video, but when we moved into this house, the taps on the bath and some of the sinks were all separate. So the hot and the cold come out like as two taps. So you're either burning yourself or freezing yourself. So I found this attachment on Amazon and it's brilliant. It makes the two taps into one and I could even get a shower head as well. So in the bath because there isn't a shower head in here. It means that I can actually wash um, Jackson's hair very easily with this. You just stick them on and you can also get these for like sink taps as well. And it just means that you can actually have a mix of hot and cold, not just one or the other. And honestly, it's been life changing. I know it's such a simple thing, but I really love it. Um, but anyway, that is it for this video. That is all the hacks I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite or that you're likely to try. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.